here by the uh, Auchi Stadium and it's funny I've been been watching how the people drive around here and even being around here for a few days and driving around London and the United Kingdom on the wrong side of the road and then I come to China and I, I think man can I drive out here get an international permit and, and come down here um, watching the way the people drive four lanes of traffic they're all going crazy and what you see happen is somebody wants to do something they just pull out they drive their car just like they were walking and when they're walking they just go and don't worry about anything everybody is planning their trajectory based upon everyone else so what you have to do if you don't want to get hit is just keep on walking. Well, it was funny. I'm, I'm looking at this area down here. And in the United States, you would see sidewalks. And then you'd see very well-marked areas where this is where you're supposed to walk. This is where you're supposed to, to uh, drive. This is where you're supposed to ride your bicycle. Everybody's supposed to follow a system. In China, they say, hey, we're all just trying to get somewhere here, so who cares? So you have everybody coming out in bicycles, riding out in the road, mopeds, every, you know, the mopeds and the bicycles are out running on the, the sidewalks. You have, right in this area, you have the police officers, or not right in this area, you have the cars just drive up on the, the park on the sidewalk. That's kind of funny, right? I think I just passed some police officers. And not necessarily a good idea to pass police officers and then and, and, uh, and have a camera going, right? But anyway, um, I saw these people just, just walking up the road. It's a two lanes on each side road. Pretty big artery of a place to walk. And and they're just thinking it's nothing. They're stopping traffic in the right lane because there's pedestrians just walking on the road. And so the right lane traffic has to get out into the, the left lane. Left lane's all getting mangled up. Everybody's getting mangled up. Then you look across the street and you see this area where the stadium, uh, stadium driving um, is trying to intersect with all those guys. So if somebody wants to turn right, and regularly you would just have this lane that turns right, and it's it's built into the system. But then somebody that's turning right, they think, no, I'm going to cross all these lanes of traffic and, and turn left. So they just stick their nose up there, stop everybody's traffic. They're just like, honk, 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 honk. The other people are honking at them. And it's just the funniest thing to watch. They, they get through one lane, two lane, then they just stick their nose out there in the... The oncoming traffic those guys have to stop because they're there and then whoop they just whip around and they're going the direction that they want to go it's the funniest thing hey look at this now since the cars are parked on the sidewalk see china they, they're like modeling their structures off the united states the culture isn't like the united states so they say you know walk on the sidewalk and i say no nah, let's park our cars on the sidewalk <laughs> then Nobody can walk, and since nobody can walk on the sidewalk, now I'm walking out in the road. Now look at that. See, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's just funny being a Peugeot. Wow. Looking at some of these names of the cars, it says Peugeot. I thought that was a. I thought that was a kind of place that built bicycles. Well, that was 30 years ago, right? Anyhow, this is one of those intersection areas where 
all the traffic comes together. If you're in a car, you just get out there. Because that's how it works. I don't know if I'm daring enough to get in a car and just drive around like that. I'll wait for that. Maybe not do it, but we'll see in time how it goes along. Here's where all these cars are coming together. There's not a lot of cars. And it's not very busy right now. Oh, that guy just did it. He just turned around. I thought, wow, he did it right. He, he went along the road instead of just turning out into the major traffic. And then, <laughs> and then he made a U-turn in the middle of the road. <laughs> that's the stuff I'm talking about. It's, that's funny. Hmm. Happens all the time. Now, I've heard the trick for going across a road is you go and then you just don't stop. So I'm going across the road and there's a parking garage. A car comes up out of it. And I think to myself, well, I'm going to use that technique and just go and not stop because yeah. I was halfway in the middle of the road anyway. Well, the car just beeped and uh, started trying to run over me. So I jumped out of the way. So that uh, didn't work that time, but it's worked most of the times. So just keep on going. If there's a bicycle or moped or anything, just, just don't worry about it. Just keep on going. But that time, a little spooky, but I'm starting to... Be more aware of all the things around me and it's just just fun to see how there's such a difference between the culture of America and culture of China. I'm fascinated by it and I'm looking forward to more and more adventures and I know that will be the case. So stay tuned and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.